Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi. Today we're going to look at the exemplar question 3.2. In our previous lesson we completed 3.1 which was creating our object class. So today we're going to go to the main form and use that object class. Now we're moving on to our main form. So this is question 3.2.1 where usually the first question is asking us to instantiate the object and that means that you have to call your constructor create. So press pause, I'll show you some more output just now and then try it yourself. Here is the output just to have some examples. I suggest that you go into the object inspector for each of these edit boxes and change the text property to the values that are given. This will just speed up the testing of your program because you have to click on this button here every time you click one of want to click on one of the other buttons because you always have to instantiate the object first. Take note of the bit here at the top where it tells you that the date that you are entering must match the format as in the edit box there provided and the code was provided there as well. So if yours is showing the year first, you have to enter the year first as well. Our object was declared there for us, obj player as the data type t player. And remember, we're going to copy this out and paste it down here to create our constructor create. But before we get to that bit there, you first need to get input from the user from the edit boxes and store them as the correct data types. So we didn't create our create constructor, we just made changes to it. So it's important to go and have a look at the order at which you have to send the parameters. So these arguments, remember, has to match your parameters of your constructor in Nod. Number, order and data type. So once you want to create your constructor, remember that will always be after the input. I copied this out and I pasted it in here. And then you change that colon and add an equal sign to it. So now it's an assignment statement. And then you type dot create. And if you do that, it's going to give you some hints. And this is to help us to know the number, one, two, three, order, name, email, and date of birth. And then data type, all three of them are strings. And that's what I've stored here as my local variables with the input of the user. And that is my line for my constructor create. Very important to get it right, else this question won't provide you with any output. We were also asked to clear the rich edit and the edit box. Don't forget to do that because those are our easy marks that we can score. And then we had to call the to string that was also provided for us. Remember, this is the last time you're going to make use of T player. From now on, you're going to use OBJ player. So my object player dot to string and remember a to string is a function so it has to be part of another statement and then we will always display it in some form of display object whether it is a rich edit a label a panel or maybe a show message important that at this stage you run and test your program that this part is working I hope this didn't confuse you, but the paper actually had an error in it. So we had to test if the email address is valid by just looking at the first character and it had to be a letter from the alphabet. So this email address here should have given us the output with that they gave us, which didn't even have a .com, but that is fine. The problem is the output example gave us error here and that was incorrect. So every now and again, there is a little mistake in a paper. Um, just don't think it is riddled with mistakes. But if you are unsure, you always go back to the wording because the wording takes preference over screenshots. The wording in your class said that it had to start with a letter from the alphabet um, to be correct. And if you typed in something else, let's say I started with a number and I then click this button, then it should only show error. So the wording would be correct, but the screenshot in this case had a mistake in it. Now try button 3.2.2 and remember to make use of our other methods of our class. When you're testing this, you do have to click on the first button 
first before you can click on this button. Our constructor create always has to run first and that is why you need to click on the button for 3.2.1 every time you run your program before you test one of the other two buttons. Press pause and try it yourself. This was a very simple button. We had to get the input from the user. Remember to store it as an integer because our test age function needed an integer parameter. So we're sending it an integer argument. And we had to display the result of test age in the edit box called edit age result. Remember test age returned a string data type and the text property is a string data type, so we don't need any type casting. No int to string or float to string is needed. This is all the code you need to score the three marks. So this is your button approve, where you have to determine whether the player has been approved or not, and also change the approved status. Read carefully and try it yourself. So here I'm testing if the uh, result of the age test age was rejected so that was done in the previous button and remember we displayed rejected then in the edit box so if that edit box has rejected in it or if the email address I'm using get email the accessor method if that contains error it means this person has been rejected and I have to display a message so this is my show message showing that the person has been rejected. I also need to change the if approved to false. So that's calling my set, method, set approved, which is my mutator method, sending it a false so that if approved is now changed to false. If, however, the person was not rejected, I will then set true to set approved. And then we had to display the updated information. We had to clear our rich edit. And then we had to display our to string again. They didn't give us an example of output here. So it would be important for you to just test it. And I'll show you some examples so that you can test if yours is correct. However, you do need to take note of the date that my program is running on. Because this is 2020 and it's the 7th of May. I'm testing if the person's age is 16. So if you're running this in another year, obviously using the date of birth, the person's going to be a little bit older. So if I use 16 at the moment and I click on test age, that would be approved. And then when I click on the button approve, this will change there to yes. If the person had another birth date, so let's say we make this a number that says 2007 then I have the output here as usual and then but when I click on the test age button with 16 it will show rejected and now when I click approved it should give me that little message the show message and then my my output for my two string is actually staying the same even though I'm displaying it again but it would also be important to test when the um, email address is invalid. So I'm going to submit the details here and error is showing. I've changed my minimum age to 10. So this person actually does reach the minimum age. When I click on test age, it says approved. And then when I click on approve, it says that either the age or the email address has been rejected. So it would be important for you to test both scenarios where either the email address is invalid or they haven't been approved according to the, the minimum age. So that was the end of the Exemplar 2018 Question 3. Thank you for watching Dandelion Delphi tutorials and please go and have a look at my Dandelion Delphi Book 3 for more explanations and practice for this OOP question. Hope to see you soon!